Hello there, Raw folks. It's good to see you again. This is your regular dose of Raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Today, we're diving headfirst into a scandal that's sending shockwaves through the world, the alleged fraud and embezzlement involving Harry and Meghan and the Archwell Foundation. The foundation that was supposed to be a beacon of hope, a force for good, is now under intense scrutiny, and it's nothing sort of shocking. But stop right there before we disclose the details. Make sure to subscribe and hit the all-important bell icon. Now picture this, the Archwell Foundation founded by Harry and Meghan was touted as a philanthropic powerhouse, a symbol of their dedication to charitable causes. But a recent revelation paints a different picture. A report from earlier this year revealed that the Sussexes only worked one hour a week at Archwell, that's 52 hours a year, a mere blip of time for an organisation that was expected to make significant changes in the world. But here's where the foundation and things get truly alarming. The foundation, as per public documents, raised $13 million from two wealthy benefactors. However, despite the small windfall, only $3 million was reportedly spent in grants. Questions arose, where did the remaining funds go? And then there's the peculiar case of Archwell Productions seemingly operating with just one staff member. Archwell faced trouble with the trademark office, exhausting all extensions and struggling with clarity regarding its purpose and products. To add fuel to the fire, French journalists visited the Archwell offices in Beverly Hills, only to find them empty, devoid of activity. What's more concerning were the questions raised about Harry's involvement in organisations like Better Up, which seemed disconnected from the successful Invictus project, the lack of direction and funds of this project added to growing suspicions. The most damning accusation, however, revolves around Harry's embezzlement allegation of charity funds reportedly suggesting that he transferred a significant sum of $200,000 from Travelist, a charity initiative, into his own for-profit company. The controversy isn't confined to Harry alone. Meghan Markle also faced scrutiny regarding use of funds. Reports surfaced suggesting that hundreds of thousands of dollars from Archwell went to Meghan's attorney, raising serious questions. Adding to the intrigue, the IRS is now conducting investigation into Archwell, delving into these troubling allegations. Critics have gone so far as to question the foundation's legitimacy, insinuating that it might be operating as a fraudulent scheme. The choice to register in Delaware, where the majority of funds could be allocated to various expenses, including luxuries like private jets, parties and jewellery, further fuel the suspicions. But before I sign off, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis.